we are investigating. There are different cases which are registered. I did not go into the details of the crime profile of these people, but at the outset I can say there are serious investigations which are going against uh, these outfits. Also, the National Investigation Agency is doing the investigation of this particular case. So the material and other details which we have obtained from this case shall be shared with the National Investigation Agency in persons of their uh, investigation of the case. Uh, regarding the, uh, the encounter site, as it was mentioned, the search is still underway. Uh, there are materials which we are trying to collect. And as soon as the search is over and the identity, two identities which have come, one Mudassir is confirmed. The other identity which we have received is Code Khalif, who is the Pakistani terrorist apparently of Jash e Muhammad. So we are working on that. As soon as we get some further detail on this, we shall share with the media. Sir, 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 uh, you have uh, pointed out about this Mudassir who was the main conspirator, then Sajjad Hussar Ran, his vehicle was being used. How many local characters were actually involved in Pulwama? Okay, first of all, uh, second part of the question, how many militants or the, how many local uh, terrorists were involved in the yes. Pulwama case? Ma'am, that's a matter of investigation. As of now, there are a lot of positive leads, credible leads which are being investigated upon. So I would not be, it would not be fair on my part to reveal any details of the Pulwama attack uh, theory. Now secondly, I was to how many terrorists, like uh, I have also said, and the IGP has also said, the search is still going on. The house was brought down, the house has come down, and there is a debris which are there. The search is still going on. The three weapons have been recovered. A few body parts in different uh, parts have been recovered. And positive identity of Madhusir has been ascertained. The body has been claimed by the parents. The body has also been buried. The other one is the Khalid, court name Khalid by Pakistan. That has been ascertained. However, the details are still being ascertained. As and when we get the full details of the number of terrorists killed and the number of bodies recovered, we would be coming back to you. Since Madhusir was the main target, that's how we thought it would be better, better on our part to come to the press and give you the details so that speculations can end. My question is regarding this guy, Mudassir. Uh, was he someone who made that IED or is he someone who just arranged that vehicle and brought all those explosives to uh, so ensure that someone makes an IED? Can you clear the air on that? And number two, sir, about convoy movement, uh, we've seen that uh, there's, there's a kind of uneasy year uh, whenever convoy movement are complaining that uh, it should be made more friendly. I, I, we can understand that you have your constraints, but we've seen that uh, even in areas you know, uh, in the past three very safe, like whenever a convoy moves, uh, suddenly uh, complete traffic is stopped. We saw today that even the other was in the couldn't reach. So, can we just make it more friendly for the people? Uh, because uh, it seems that uh, the question is people feel that we are at kind of a war or is something that out of control, uh, although we know that yes, everything is under control. Can we do something about the monument? Okay. Uh, uh, what was the first part of your question? Sir, about Mudassir, was he the one who okay. 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 yeah, uh, Mudassir was the main conspirator of the Pulwama attack on the Lajpara COB as also the Pulwama convoy attack. Now, again, who was the person who fabricated the ID? Who is the person who initiated? Who is the person? It is again a matter of investigation and the details are still under investigation, so I would not like to divulge those. But I would like to say here, Mudassir was one of the main conspirators who helped and who coordinated the whole thing of the Pulwama convoy attack. Coming to the point about the convoy and the way civilian traffic is monitored or civilian traffic is controlled when the convoy movement is happening, here I would like to clarify one thing. I also observe it, I take the report every day. The convoy movement is known to the people who are doing the road opening and the civilian traffic is stalled or told to stop only for a very short while. And when the convoy passes that point on ground, the civilian traffic is allowed to move. 
It is not that the civilian traffic is told to stop for hours altogether. It's only for a few minutes that the traffic is halted, and when the convoy passes that place, the civilian traffic is allowed to freely move around. So, point about the harassment and all, I think it's, a, it's not true, it's a propaganda, but I would again request through the media, all my civilian friends, that please cooperate with the security forces for those one, one and a half minutes or two minutes of delay at the maximum, and at the same time, since the convoy timing is generally known, if you feel you are going for a long drive or a far away, far away destination, please adjust your timings accordingly so that you, are have, you have the minimum disturbance in route to your place of journey. I would not like to use a word like avenge. Uh, we have the CRPF has lost more than 2,000 men since it was uh, since it came into being. Ours is a continuous uh, fight. We are known as the peacekeepers of the nation. Our mission is to establish peace. Anyone who raises the gun against the country obviously is our enemy and will be dealt with accordingly. And uh, the uh, as far as uh, the results of or the lessons, as you said, of uh, the uh, attack, the convoy. Well, uh, we are continuously uh, learning our lessons. After the convoy attack, as you know, this the one which you talked about, the, the, the civilian traffic was stopped. Certain other measures, which I would not like to discuss, have also been initiated. So we learn and we draw lessons from everyday affairs, including yesterday's operation. Thank you. We will not be able to give you the exact numbers. As I said, it's operational details. But uh, as we all know, whenever people join terrorism, they just uh, flash their photographs and other things, and the villages also get to know. A missing person report is registered. On the basis of that, it is all in the open domain. You can see the recruitment in last three to four months, actually it has significantly come down. That is what the, our uh, contention is. We have seen two videos of the people who are the people who are in the 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 मारे गए था दूसरे बात जो है अभी जो नेक्स्ट जो वीडियो आया है वो भी उसका ऑथेंटिसिटी वी आर ट्राइंग टू चेक आल्सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर आर मलिशियस कैंपेन इन द सोशल मीडिया ट्राइंग टू एक्चुअली सुपर इंपोज इमेजेस एंड ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ प्योर साइकोसिस सो वी शुड नॉट गो बाय दैट दीस वीडियोस आर सब्जेक्ट टू इन्वेस्टिगेशन वी आर डूइंग इट एंड वी शैल गेट बैक टू ऑन दिस सो about the Purvama attack. You know, all the people who are the perpetrators in the attack, are they not being activated? But they are still people who are out there. And also about the videos and the Jash. You could only see the Jash uh, militants are being targeted in almost all the encounters that took place in the recent past. Does that mean that Lashkar and his army, they are active on the ground? It's only the Jash which is there? Sir, Hazegon is hiding. Okay, first of all, about the people who are eliminated. Okay, uh, that being a, a joint announcement that's coming in both uh, from the CRPF uh, and the police, uh, confirming that uh, one of the key conspirators of the Pulwama attack, Mudassir, of the Jaish e Mohammed, has been neutralized along with the second terrorist, Khalid, who is from Pakistan, uh, was under the Jaish e Mohammed itself. Uh, making it very clear that as far as uh, those others involved in Pulwama, further investigations on this are still on, but without doubt one of the key conspirators there has been neutralized.